Hi, I'm Mrs. D Math. If you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. If you've been here already, then I appreciate you coming back. We're going to be going over eighth grade math, ordering real numbers. One of the things that might help you if you haven't watched it already is my video on how to estimate square roots. But let's go ahead and get started. When you're ordering real numbers, if it includes an irrational number, you must estimate that irrational number before you can put the list in order. And we're going to put this list in order from least to greatest. So this is going to include the square root of 5, 2.5, the square root of 3, and 12 sixths. Now a couple of these are pretty simple as far as being able to compare them to the other numbers. We definitely want to get all the numbers into decimals. 2.5 is already a decimal. 12 over 6 is a fraction, but we can easily turn that into a decimal by dividing. So 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Then we have the square root of 5 and the square root of 3. So the square root of 5, if you haven't watched the other video, you're going to have to estimate. And that's going to be between the perfect square that comes before 5, which is 4 and the perfect square that comes after 5, which is 9. So 5 is going to be somewhere between the square root of 4, which is 2, and the square root of 9, which is 3. So if I'm between 2 and 3, that's going to be 2 point, and 5 is closer to 4. So I'm going to be much closer to the number 2 than 3. So I'm just going to estimate 2.2. Then we have your square root of 3, which is going to be between the square root of 1 and the square root of 4. So that's between 1 and 2. And since 3 is closer to 4, this one we're going to estimate a little bit higher. So I'm going to estimate at 1.7. So now we have our four numbers that we're going to be comparing. The easiest thing to do when you are going to put this list in order is to go ahead and place them on a number line. Our smallest number is 1. 0.7, so I'm going to go ahead and label my number line starting with 1, then I have 1 and a half, 2, 2 and a half, and 3. And I don't have any numbers larger than 3, so I can go ahead and just stop there for my number line. So let's go ahead and place these in the correct order. So 1.7 is my smallest number. It's going to be a little bit larger than 1.5. And 1.7 does represent the square root of 3. So I'm going to write that in original form. Then we have the number 2. And that is right here on our number line. So that's going to be your 12 sixths. Then we have 2.5, also right there on the number line. So that's going to go right there. Then we have the square root of 5, which was 2.2. .2. So that's going to go between 2 and 2.5. Two and it's going to be a little bit closer to 2. So this is our square root of 5. So now that we have them ready to put in order, we would list them out. Square root of 3, 12, 6, square root of 5, and two and a half. And we have successfully listed them in order from least to greatest. Okay, I hope you find that pretty simple, but let's try another example. We're gonna again put this list in order from least to greatest. And so now we have the square root of 83. We only have one square root, but we have pi squared in there. And so we do have to figure out pi squared. So let's go ahead and figure out a couple of these that are not written in decimal form. So we do already have one written in decimal form and that's going to be our 9.5. So let's go ahead and find the square root of 83. I do know that that's between the square root of 81 and the square root of 100, which is 9 and 10. So it's going to be 9 point and it's going to be much closer to 81 than to 100. So I'm just going to estimate 9.2. So now we have 56 over 6, and in order to turn this into a decimal, we're going to need to divide. So 6 goes into 56 9 times, which is 54. I have 2 left over, so if I add my decimal, bring down my 0, it's going to go in 3 times. And I do know that I'm going to have a remainder of 2, so I can see pretty quickly this is going to be repeating. So 56 6 is 9.5 three repeating. And then we have pi squared. I do know that pi is 
3.14. And if I were to square that and just use my calculator, I am going to end up with 9.85. Okay, so there I have my four numbers. Let's go ahead and place those on a number line. Our numbers are all between nine and 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with nine. I'm gonna put a nine and a half right here in the middle. I can spread these out as much as I want. And a 10, I did try to space them out pretty evenly. So let's go ahead, we have 9.5 is right here in the middle. It's a pretty easy one, so nine and a half. And then we have a 9.2, which is gonna be a little bit closer to the nine than the nine and a half, and that is our square root of 83. Then we have a 9.3 repeating, which is gonna be a little closer to nine and a half, and that is our 56 over six. And our last one is 9.85, which is way over here, much closer to the 10, and that is pi squared. So now we can list these out. We have the square root of 83, 56 over six, nine and a half, and pi squared. And I'll just double check. They do want least to greatest. If you did go back and it said greatest to least, all you have to do is flip your list the other direction. So I hope this video helped you in not only getting a little bit more practice on estimating square roots, but also in how to order real numbers. All right, well that concludes our ordering real numbers today in eighth grade math. I hope you enjoyed it and you come back for the next video. I'm Mrs. D Math. Have a great day.